So our first story. The heck is this? Who is this woman? Well, this is artificial intelligence. From the Business Insider, the humanoid robot CEO of a drinks company says it doesn't have weekends and is always on 24-7. The CEO of the Polish drink company, I'm going to pronounce it as Dictator, which is an interesting name, is an AI-powered humanoid robot. So that's the CEO. The AI boss named Mika told Reuters it didn't have weekends and was always on 24-7. Mika helps to spot potential clients and select artists to design the rum producer's bottle. So this is a rum company. All right. Humanoid robot CEO of a Polish drink company is one busy boss. All right. Uh, They appointed Mika as its experimental chief executive in August last year, so 2022, and it's not afraid to put in the hours to help the company, quote, take over the world. That's good. I mean, I'll save my thoughts until the end, but it's already off to an interesting start. Don't really have weekends, always on 24-7, ready to make executive decisions and stir up some AI magic, is said in a Reuters video interview. The AI boss is said to have a wide range of tasks, including helping to spot potential clients and selecting artists to design bottles for the rum producer. So this is a Polish rum company. Uh, My decision-making process relies on extensive data analysis and aligning with the company's basic strategic objectives. It's devoid of personal bias. Ensuring unbiased and strategic choices that prioritize the organization's best interests. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Got a good show ahead of us today. I do have other stories that pertain to this, but starting off with this story, already some red flags, I will I will say for the least. But let's continue on. Michael won't be firing any of its employees, though, as the major significant decisions at Dictator will be made by human executives, the European president of Dictator, Marik Soldrowski told Reuters, its role includes leading the company's art house spirits decentralized autonomous organization project, a collection of NFTs and communicating with its decentralized autonomous organization community, according to the company's website. Okay, so kind of, it's not exactly the chief executive officer, there are still humans making decisions, but it's having some major input uh, compared to uh, many of the other humans that work at the company. Mika is a more sophisticated version of her sister prototype, the AI robot Sophia, the website says. Mika was created by Hanson Robotics, the company behind Sophia, which has garnered attention around the world through dozens of media interviews. If you have a chance, um, maybe I'll, I'll put a link down in the description of a video. Um, but I do recommend you seeing some of the interviews with Sophia. All right. Going on, oh, Dictator is not the first company to make a bot its CEO. Last year, a Chinese gaming firm appointed an AI-powered virtual humanoid robot named Tang Yu as the chief executive of a subsidiary. Fujian NetDragon Websoft. So let's continue on right here. Here is an interesting video to say the least. Let's let's watch to see what this uh dictator actually is. And I'll be interested to see if you can kind of see some of the things that I saw that kind of stuck out to me as red flags. <laughs> A drinks company in Poland has appointed an artificial intelligence robot as experimental chief executive. Hello, I'm Mika. The technology is still very much on probation. It's great to connect with you. The robot CEO is leading the company's growth into one-off collectibles, communication, or even strategy planning. For Dictador, the AI boss is the real deal.
Before her promotion, Dictador initially had Mika identifying potential clients, but now her duties have widened to tasks including choosing artists to design custom bottles. Mika says she brings something to the job no human can. My decision-making process relies on extensive data analysis and aligning with the company's strategic objectives. It's devoid of personal bias, ensuring unbiased and strategic choices that prioritize the organization's best interests. But is Mika real or just a gimmick? Here's Dictador Europe's president, Mark Zoldrowski. Oh, she is definitely in fact here. Her, you know, data, data-driven capabilities and whatever she's bringing as a big feature and a great advantage for the company. Well, as a robot CEO, I don't really have weekends. I'm always on 24 seven, ready to make executive decisions and stir up some AI magic. But hey, I don't mind. I'm here to help Dictador take over the world. Some might be concerned about AI bots like Mika taking over the world of work, but Zoldrowski says human chief executives need not worry about being replaced. There is no concern like artificial intelligence could hire or fire somebody. It's still the, the major decisions, significant decisions. Are st- For this particular company. In human executive team hands. Zoldrowski says you can never fully swap in bots for human executives, but you can't ignore them either. It's a bright future and we are living in the very dynamic changing world. Uh, so it's a quest for us. It's a quest. What will be the future of the companies like ours? So we simply believe it's worth to involve AI. You get what he said right there? You saw that? Towards the end of the video, he says, listen, we're not trying to have this AI robot completely make all of the decisions. We still have humans who are doing uh, executive roles. That's not what we're asking really this thing to do. It really just does menial tasks. And then the very last couple seconds, he's describing how we want to be one of the first companies in the in the world to really start this new trend of having uh, executives as uh, artificially in- intelligentized or as just AI, I guess is a better way to say it, but to have these robots run the company and it's, if the technology works and it's actually able to help the company do better, by all means do it, but there's many different reasons why one would do so. Number one reason is because you don't have to pay them. An AI CEO doesn't need to take home a salary. Like it said, it can work 24-7. I I don't know what the future holds. And I mean, I'm I'm only 25. I hope to be doing this for a very long time. And I hope that AI turns out for the best. And but when I see stuff like this, I feel like you have to be very cautious because this can turn into something where it really spirals out of control. And I'll talk about later about how AI at this point is not perfect. It is not all good. There are some cons to it that are major and massive, and we do not have the ability to be 100% accurate when creating these artificially intelligentized or however you say it, people. You're going to have somebody running a company, and we'll see later. Uh, there's a possibility that they will, for the good of the company, hide some things and rationalize it because for this artificial intelligence model or this AI CEO, they've been programmed to, your number one duty is to maximize profits for the company. Your number one duty is to keep your cost as low and your income as high as possible in terms of the company. 
and do everything that you can to optimize the performance of the company. Sometimes that means that, hey, uh, oh, it looks like we um, accidentally did this one thing wrong, and if the the government were to find out that we did it, we could get into some financial trouble. So it might actually be more beneficial for us not to disclose this information to the government, to actually hide it from the government so that we are not uh, caught in a position where they can fine us and they can take money from us. We have bad press about us. And ultimately, just in some ways, not be as good of a company in the in the future or not be as productive as a company because we've been uh, litig litig litigated against via the government or something because of a a thing that an AI CEO puts under the rug. And can you send an AI CEO to prison if they do something catastrophically wrong? Like imagine if there was a artificial intelligence CEO of a defense contracting company of a place that was making bombs, making ammunition, making weapons. Uh, then that CEO is going to have some real, real, real responsibility. And if they, oops, I'm sorry, but my, uh, my programming was not able to discover the fact that we were accidentally making way more deadly weapons than we had thought. Oops, we uh we sent under my watch we sent uh weapons to this country that then used those weapons to commit a war or to commit war crimes. Up, oh, sorry, it was just the AI CEO. Nothing you can do. Uh we'll we'll shut down the AI CEO. What's the what's the recourse going to be? If you're making nukes and you're you're doing this crazy stuff as a artificial intelligence CEO. There, there's nothing they can really do. They can shut you off, but there's no recourse that they could possibly do. They could shut the company down. But then, what happens to that AI CEO? They could same exact model. It's just a computer program. You can plug it into as a CEO for a different company or infinite number of companies. So there is a slippery slope when it comes to this artificial intelligence stuff. And I think it's very, very important for us to keep our eyes open to the fact that a lot of these companies are, and I don't fault them for it. If I was in their position, I'd do the exact same thing. If I can have a person who is an executive, those are going to be the highest earning people in the company. Those are going to be the people that make the most important decisions for that company. If I can automate that where I don't have to worry about, oh, crap, this guy's having some issues in his marriage. Potentially, he might be uh, not as productive at work, or maybe he's got some other interests that he's thinking about retiring in a couple of years or wants to spend more time with his kids so he's not as committed as work. With an AI model, you're not going to have that as an executive. Now, obviously, with with workers and stuff like that, we know how that could change, but with particularly with executives, people that are making decisions to change the course of an entire company, which is much more impactful than, say, somebody, somebody on an assembly line or a truck driver who's just driving a single truck from one area to the next. And to take that job from a human doing that to a robot doing that, obviously, for that truck driver, is very, very destructive to them because it takes away their income however for the company very beneficial and it doesn't really make that much of a difference but if we're talking about an executive if you could replace a human executive with an ai one i mean there's so much more impact on the company that will have as opposed to just one single truck being changed from a human driving it to a um to some kind of robot. I mean, in terms of if you want to talk about salary, you're sometimes looking at 10 to 100 times difference in income between those two positions. Uh, plus with a, an executive, all the stock options that they'll get, all of the other financials, the bonuses at the end of the year, all of that stuff will not have to be paid out to 
artificial intelligence. Now companies can, if they decide, use that money and reinvest it into their company, or they can use that money to pay the people who are on the board or to pay the shareholders or however they want to divvy up that money. That is their prerogative. That That is their right. It is their company. If they want to give it to the assembly line workers or they want to give it to the bottom rung of the people to give everybody a raise, they have that ability to do it. They also have the ability to, instead of taking that, let's say it's $2 million in salary that they would give to a board executive to divvy that money up against uh divvy that money up between the rest of the uh, people on the board or the other executives they have that right as well however it could get out of control real fast now if say you have 10 people on a board and nine of those 10 people are artificial intelligence are not real people um somebody's programming them and could it potentially be that you sway them all into this um this very basic idea of maximize profits maximize profits oh and also this other one human in here everything that he says ever favorably heavily favorite what he is saying or basically be very uh, um biased towards whatever this one human says the rest of the ai models will do the same now if you have an outside company who's who's doing this maybe you won't run into that but if it's the company like in this um in this example with i'm going to call it dictator because it's a it's a little interesting because it's a it's the bottom but we're starting to get up that slope. We're starting to climb just a little bit, just a little bit, but things could go crazy real quick. But back to what I was talking about. Nine people or nine AI executives and then one human. Yeah, obviously, if you have a third party company like we have here, you can have potentially a... I guess, diversion between uh, any sort of biases that are getting programmed into this. But if it's a, if it's the CEO of a company and he's he hires this third party and he says to them, hey, I'm going to pay you X amount of dollars. I need you to create uh, nine different AI executives and I'm going to pay you extra if you have them uh, – have a bias towards whatever I say, they also like. But their main priority is to maximize profits. That's not out of the realm. And also that's not something that I could not see happening very frequently. If I was a CEO of a company, I would want the other um, board members to agree with what I was saying, obviously for selfish reasons. Um, but also because if you are the CEO, if you are the founder of the company, you're running the company, you have to have some sort of confidence in yourself that you've gotten the company to a specific point and you feel like you can get, get the job done and help the company grow and help the company do better. Why not have that programmed in? But it's 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 just a, a slippery slope. And I'm really excited to uh, show you kind of their website and then also show you some other stories. I mean... This is a rum company, so this isn't – I mean, they're making alcohol, um, but it is it is certainly the beginning of what I believe is a very slippery slope. Mika is a female, more advanced version of her sister prototype, Sophia. Uh, the first CEO female robot – I mean, it's not a – it's not – it's not. It's a robot. Come on. We'll be a board member responsible for Art House Spirit's DAO project and communication with the DAO community on Dictator's behalf. I know that's not how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. A contract with the world's first ever AI CEO Robert was, robot was signed on 30th of August, launching her official career in Dictator on September 1st, 2022. 
All right, they bum bum bum. Yeah. According to Nana, ba 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 ba. In Malibu, California, the brand is on a roll. Next generation and global thought leaders who aims to positively impact the future. This is a. I mean, you read this website, it feels like. Let, let's read this. Earlier this year, Dictator created the world's first DAO concept, the value of which is supported by tangible assets hidden safely in our precious treasury. The treasury's future is in good hands, run by a closed community of high net worth individuals. Oh. Yeah. All right. And investors who share a passion for bold new ways to create lasting value. Um, so there's assets in this treasury, and the treasury, you got to believe that the, this treasury is all up to snuff. This treasury is amazing. Dude, it's run by a closed community, not an open one. We don't have any, any outside people giving their thoughts and opinions or anything like that. And they're high net worth individuals. Obviously, that means that they're qualified for the jobs, right? They got a lot of money. And investors who share a passion for a bold new way to create lasting value, not just instant, but lasting value as well. This sounds amazing. It does not sound like there is any um, confusion here about what the actual um, idea behind this is. This is a rum and spirits company i mean let's keep that in mind central part of the dao is its unique treasury worth over 50 million united states dollars consisting of an exclusive collection of the world's oldest and rarest rums extra value is brought to the community by its members the exclusive access to vips and extraordinary activities that money can't buy although in order to get those activities you need money one of these being the unprecedented ability of the Art House Spirits DAO community to meet and hang out with Mika. Oh, hang out with her. Amazing. Yeah, so I just feel very uneasy about this particular one. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to feel. This seems, this seems weird. And 